Jupiter has been one of the biggest airdrop in Solana history and that was only round one. So let me tell you step-by-step -step guide on how to participate for the second round of airdrop by Jupiter, which could be worth even more than the first one and you do not want to miss it. So let's jump straight onto the lapu without anything else to say. This one is Jupiter. So this is the platform. And as you're able to go and see, as you've seen also online on Twitter a lot, do not fall for any scams. First of all, over here on Twitter, just make sure to go to the verified Jupiter swap. And how do you do it? Just go over here on Twitter, just click on Jupiter. This one is the proper exchange. So make sure to go and utilize this link from their official Twitter page with this amount of posts. So step number one. And how do we interact now with Jupiter? Well, Jupiter, as you're able to see, it gives you a lot of different options. Let's go and calculate which one is the best. And I actually have a two airdrops for you, including with Jupiter. Now, Jupiter allows you to swap tokens, buy tokens, etc. But we're not gonna fo we're gonna focus on the Jupiter, but I want you to earn two airdrops from simply doing stuff on Jupiter. And how do you do it? Well, first of all, if you just wanna have one airdrop, over here you have all of the options. So let's say you have Solana on your wallet and you go and swap Solana, you go and make some transactions. The more the volume it is, the better the airdrop will be most likely, as we've seen also in the first one. So go and do some swaps. If this is a one airdrop only, just stick around and I'll show you how to get both airdrop, which is the best in my opinion. You do not want to miss it because it's basically free money. So we go and swap, we go the limit order. And remember all of this, aside from the swap, limit order and perpetual, which is risky. Make sure you do your due diligence. You know what you're doing. This is no financial advice. If you do not do it properly, you risk to lose money, which is very, very important. But we go swap. So just go and swap amounts, uh, very easy. As we're able to go and see, you basically lose 0 0.01 of swapping every time. So just to go and do a few swaps, uh, let's say you got one or two Solana, make sure you get like 10, 20 swaps in. You're going to lose probably 10% of a Solana, but it is worth it for the airdrop. Next up, we got the limit order here. You are able to buy and sell tokens, just like, for example, you do in Binance, you buy and sell tokens. So what am I selling? I am selling Solana over here. I can sell this and get this one. So what does it do? It simply does uh, for example, here we're able to see that I did swap anything order history. I did all of my order history, which have been uh, also the order open. This is the open orders. What do you do? Well, you sell Solana for USDC. So, for example, let's go and take it right here. Let's go and uh, let's always remember to do a little bit less for the gas fees. So let's go and do Solana to USDC. We have processing order over here. Let's go and do a few transactions together. And this is just by all doing one. And I will get to how to do two, which is super, super important. Actually, let's get it now on how to do two airdrops in one. And this is very simple over here. This is Marinade. You will find my referral links down below. Thank you for the support. You are able to go and stake your Solana and in return, you get the MSOL. Now, MSOL is also part of the Jupiter over here. You are able to sell MSOL as we're able to go and see for USDC. So why am I telling you to do this? It is very, very simple. I am simply telling you to do this because once you stake Solana over here, you're able to get MSOL. From the MSOL, you're able to sell you're able to swap the MSOL as well. And this will give you the marinade airdrop as you're able to go and see. The longer you keep the Solana stacked, the, you know, the more airdrop you are going to receive. And this is why I'm telling you too, because also MSOL, which is the token that you do receive from stacking Solana over here, you are able to swap it. You're able to do all of the transactions, swap it, buying it, selling it back and forth, back and forth, which allows you to have two airdrops in one because Marinade airdrop is also confirmed. And as well, you get your rewards on the MNDE token, which is a governance token over here on Marinade. But so this is step one, simply go and do Marinade, get MSOL, and then do the same procedure like we just did with the Solana over here with the MSOL over there. But as we said, we use the limit order, buy and sell. Let's go and swap the tokens. Now, what do we have? Well, we can either go back over here and just swap all of the USDC that we have. So we go back and forth and we do 
two transactions over on the limit order. Remember, the more you have, the better it is for you to go and, you know, have a higher percentage of the Jupiter air job. So very simple swap and limit order are basically the same. Uh, you know, you're able to buy and sell, you're able to swap as you're able to do like anywhere else. Reload the page and you have your tokens within the uh, within the page and everything. Here it is all said and done as so you're able to go and see order history. Done it, open orders completed right here, which, you know, it is what I'm doing with uh, the amount of money. So then go back on the swapping, go and do the swapping or go and do the buying at whatever you fancy to do. Uh, super, super easy. Then we got the dollar cost average. This is, uh, I want to allocate, you know, X amount every seven days. So you have to have the token in your wallet, whether it's MSOL that you go and decide to buy. Uh, you know, I want to allocate MSOL, for example. Uh, where is it? No, sorry, you got uh, Solana for this one. You want to do this to buy USDC every seven day and every seven day automatically going to enable you. Then we got the bridging. The bridging is very important in my opinion. And here you're also able to do three airdrop. You're also able to bridge on wormhole, which wormhole will have the possibility of an airdrop. And as we're able to go and see, you simply connect both wallets. So for example, MetaMask, I connect it over here. You open it and you utilize it like this and you connect your Solana wallet. I got the Phantom wallet over here. So I'm able to bridge uh, anything that I want, whether it is Ethereum, all tokens, for example, let's use Ethereum over here, 0 0.005. I am able to swap it, but you do need to have a bit more. I believe there is a minimum for it. So very simple on how it works, which is bridging. I think it is very important for the Jupyter 2.0 airdrop. And last but not least, we got the perpetual. Now here is a, as they say, DJ and earn. So basically you are longing and shorting whichever coin you want. Um, longing meaning that you are betting on the price to go up and you're multiplying it by 5x, 10x, 20x, or you're betting on the price to go down, which is shorting. Uh, this is risky, uh, most likely very, very risky, but just do your due diligence, do your research, um, you know, as we're able to go and see over here, we just go back to the, uh, you need at least 0 0.002, okay, uh, Solana to pay, okay, so we just do the swapping as well, let's go and put 8, for example, no, oh, uh, my bad, my bad, uh, 0 point, uh, let's say 7, should be enough, no, 0 0.6, 0 0.06 there we go okay so we go and do the swapping like we did before with the limit order but as we said there are possibilities for two to three airdrop in this video the jupiter 2.0 airdrop which you know just come here every once in a while go and do the transaction keep it active don't seem like a bot we got the marinade which is the one that you can start off everything by stacking solana getting gamsol and doing all the same procedures that we just did with the gamsol over here on jupiter and if you do want to go and bridge assets, if you go bridging assets, make sure you know what you're doing as well with the bridging asset. Simply go over here on the bridging with wormhole and wormhole is going to potentially have an airdrop. So we're looking at three airdrops in one. Remember, be careful with the links with the just make sure you are on the right one. My referral links for everything is down below. So thank you. Thank you very much for the support. But with that said, I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Make sure to like, retweet, comment, subscribe, wherever you watch this video, support it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao, guys.